In this lesson, we will learn how a Cisco switch manages its MAC address table. As you can imagine, without proper management, in a big local area network, the MAC address table is filled up very quickly as more computers added into the network. Also, when a computer gets removed from the network, its MAC address still stays in the MAC address table. Now a new computer is added into the network, but the MAC address table is full. Let's see how a Cisco switch manages its MAC address table to overcome these problems. To solve the problem, switch assign a timer starting at zero to each new entry in the MAC address table. The timer has the full aging time of 300 seconds. Let's look into the diagram and we will analyze the MAC address table of switch one. As you can see, the MAC address table of switch one uses the default aging time of 300 seconds and currently it is empty. When PC1 sent a package to PC3, switch created a new entry for PC1 and start the timer at 0 seconds. 50 seconds later, PC3 responded back to PC1, it created a new entry for PC3 and the timer for the new entry for PC3 starts at zero and the timer for PC1 now is 50 seconds. 100 seconds later, PC4 sent a package to PC2 and it starts the timer at zero second and the timer for PC3 now is 100 seconds and the timer for PC1 is now 150 seconds. 150 seconds later, PC2 respond back to PC4 and here is the current timers for each entry in the MAC address table of switch 1. When the timer is expired, switch will remove the entry out of the MAC address table. As you can see, in this case, the switch will remove the entries for PC1 because it's reaching the aging time of 300 seconds. Each time the MAC address of an entry is seen in the network, the timer of the entry is reset to zero. Here is the current timer of each entry in the MAC address table of switch one. 50 seconds later, PC3 sent a package to PC1 and switch one see the MAC address of PC3 via the port G01. So it reset the timer for PC3 back to zero. 50 seconds later, PC1 responded back to PC3 and it created a new entry for PC1 in the MAC address table. Let's assume switch one MAC address table can only store up to four entries. When the MAC address table is filled up, the new entry will override the oldest entry even though the timer for the oldest entry has not expired yet. Let's look into our diagram. As you can see, PC5 is now added and it immediately sent a package to PC4. In this case, none of the entries in the MAC address table of switch one has the timer expired. However, the MAC address table is filled up, so the switch decided to remove the entries of the PC4 because it is the oldest entries. 50 seconds later, PC4 responded back to PC5. 
Similarly, in this case, the switch decided to remove the entry for PC2 because it is the oldest entries. Besides those methods, the network engineer like us can manually remove the unwanted entries to clean up the MAC address table. Let's read the keynotes by yourself to finish this lesson.